All right, welcome. It is time to explore your unique devotion. So today, uh, we are in the beginning of the book of Philemon. Um, I'm going to read verse 1 through 3. This is entitled, The Greeting. And here we go. Let's just hop right in. How about it? Are you ready? Just checking. <laughs> All right, verse 1. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our beloved friend and fellow laborer, to the beloved Aphia, Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings are always very nice. Um, especially here, he's not just saying, Hi, how you doing? He's saying, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. It, it, there's there's power behind that. <laughs> uh, he's It's not just filler. Um, I used to find myself, and I still do from time to time, you know, when you see people, it's just like, Hey, hi, good morning, how you doing? You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of overdoing it, saying it kind of monotone, but how often do you greet people and actually mean it? So, do you actively greet people? You know, another way of putting it is, are you genuinely greeting people? Um, now, this isn't meant to be, you know, you're doing it wrong, or I'm doing it wrong, and others do it right. It's just acknowledging the truth of the situation. So... Today, when you come into contact with the first person you normally run into and you always just say hi, just check yourself a little bit. You know, when you say, how are you doing today? Don't just say it as a, as a filler kind of, it's like saying, wow, it's, it's a beautiful day outside. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, don't, don't. Don't just let it become a part of the routine because we need to make sure that we are greeting others in a genuine manner. And the world gets so mundane at times, already as it is, just doing the normal daily routine, that just a simple simple moment of greeting can jazz up your day and someone else's. I know that when someone comes to me that I haven't seen for a while and they're like, hey Brandon, how are you doing? Man, What what's going on in your life? See, they're genuine. They want to know. But if I see that person every day and they say every day, how you doing? 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 How you doing today? It continues to just kind of, it, it, it starts to lose its luster, let's put it that way. So it's kind of hard to get back into that. And not that you have to be super excited, jazzed every single time, but just in your mind. Because they don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> in your mind, actively greet them. When you say hi, say hi. Um, let me put another let me put another example then I'll stop. I think you kind of get it, but let's let's use this. At the end, there's the word amen, and I've talked about this before. Amen tends to be just an ending, you know, it's something that when you pray and you do anything in the church, you just throw in the word amen and you then then you're done and you move on, but that mean the word does not mean that. It means let it be. Let it be so. It's it's an ending of that that prayer maybe, but it's to continue on in your actions. It's to go further than just that time of prayer and the words that are being said. Let it be so gives that idea of continuation. So when you're greeting someone, that same sort of feeling should come along that it's not just a hi, done, but that it's a hi and then continuation into the day together. It, it, it should feel more like linkage um, in words and not separate links. Um, 
at least that's what's going on in my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to give examples, and I'm, I'm, it, it makes sense to me, and hopefully I'm clarifying it properly. Um, I hope it makes sense to you guys, and I hope that uh, it makes you think a little bit about the next time you greet others, and hopefully you greet them actively. So on that note, I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow, and I will greet you actively.